Hey guys, this is Vinny 91 and I'm talking about the Cyberpunk 2077 apology. Now, truth be told, I'm not saying this was a bad apology. In fact, I'm thinking this was an alright apology. And like, I like how he started off basically saying it's, I take ownership and like basically the people, the founders and the people take ownership, not the developers. Like just stay away from the developers basically. It's just like, yeah, it's on us. We're the ones who decide to bring out the game. Apparently, I'm basing this on the Kotaku article. I'm not sure if this was true, but apparently like when they first announced the release date, Back in 2019, like they said, the Kotoko article was saying like developers like were scratching their heads. One thought it was a joke. Like we like basically apparently some developers didn't think they could really make that date, right? And obviously that ended up getting delayed and delayed. But then COVID-19 obviously caused more stuff, as the guy pointed out, because now they're working from their homes instead of from the office. But here's the thing: sometimes, just like my dad says, you gotta just apologize, admit you messed up and don't say anything else. Not all the time, I believe, but sometimes, because as my dad pointed out, sometimes in the midst of explaining yourself, you're kind of like basically saying, I didn't do nothing. I'm gonna borrow something from the Sopranos here. Paul, he said he wants it known, it's on him. He takes full responsibility, yeah, but that he didn't do nothing. Now, the co-founder of CD Projekt Red didn't take it that far because he obviously did admit to wrongdoing, but that's sometimes what you can sound like when you apologize, but then kind of explain yourself. Now we all fall for this sometimes because there's this natural urge to explain ourselves, but sometimes you gotta fight that natural urge. So while I think that, yeah, the apology should have just been, hey, we messed up, we're gonna try better in the future. And he did explain that because he explained like all these patches coming out and then like he explained like free DLC coming out and also the next gen update coming out. God willing, all this will come out this year. But at the same time, sometimes you gotta say, we're sorry, we messed up and just move on. Just move on, CD Projekt Red. Yes, make the apology. Definitely try d work as hard as you can on making the versions work, right? And then next time, basically, if you gotta delay a game, just delay a game. Don't bring out a game till it's ready. I'm not saying it has to be like, cause a game will never be perfect. A game will have its flaws. We're humans, we are flawed. But just learn it for next time. Apologize, move on, learn it for next time. Basically, at this point, I think, Constantly explaining what happened doesn't help and in some situations it kind of makes matters worse. I believe Anyway, what do you guys think about cyberpunk 2077's apology from one of the co-founders? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching like and subscribe and God bless you all